Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia and uh, today we have a very significant and controversial topic uh, that came up. Uh, according to Reuters, the Biden administration uh, has decided to send depleted uranium munitions to Ukraine and uh, this has raised eyebrows and sparked debates. So we will be in this video going through into some details into this report and uh, the implication of such a move. Uh, depleted uranium munitions are known for their armor piercing capabilities. They are made by a byproduct of the uranium enrichment process, and despite being radioactive, they are valued for their extreme density, which enables them to penetrate armor plating effectively. These rounds are used in combat to disable enemy tanks and vehicles. The usage of depleted uranium munitions isn't new. In the 1990 and 2003 Gulf Wars, as well as the NATO bombing of Yugoslavia in 1999, the United States employed these munitions extensively. However, the health risks associated with depleted uranium have led to heated debate. The International Atomic Energy Agency states that studies in previous conflict zones indicated no significant radiological hazard to affected populations. However, the challenge of cleaning areas contaminated with depleted uranium remains. However, even this point is actually disputed because there are a lot of instances, or stories, anecdotes that shows that there are a lot of problems or cancer, you know, increase in cancer being reported in such regions where uraniums, the depleted uraniums has been used. Now, let's turn our attention back to Ukraine. Uh, the country already is facing challenges from the ongoing conflict and clearly there will be a lot of unexploded ordnance and mines and all sorts of hazards that comes with being a war zone. Now, adding radioactive materials to the equation is going to raise serious concern for the long-term consequences and the safety of the future population of not just Ukrainians, but perhaps Russians, if this war is being won by this Russian side. The current aid package for Ukraine includes various forms of military assistance, such as artillery, air defense missiles, and ground vehicles. The funding authorization for this aid package comes through the Presidential Drawdown Authority, allowing the transfer of materials from US stocks in emergencies. And on top of this, there are already news that the United Kingdom has already sent a batch of depleted uranium munitions to the Ukrainians, despite there is no news or indication that suggests that the depleted uranium munitions has been used 